introduce to you the CCNB Bank sponsored 1987. From Hershey Park, Pennsylvania, it is the 1987 Big 33 Football Classic. The best 33 high school football players from the state of Maryland take on the best 33 football players from the state of Pennsylvania. Hello everybody, I'm Don Veloso, very happy to bring you this sports exclusive on United Sports Film and Video Labs for your enjoyment. We have just had the teams from Maryland and Pennsylvania come on the uh, field right now. Beautiful night for football here in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Temperature probably about 80 right now. Sun setting down immediately behind us. And very shortly, we will have a cool breeze blowing across this stadium. You're looking at the kissing tower at Hershey Park as we are getting ready to have the toss of the coin for this big 33 football game between Pennsylvania and Maryland. Coming out into the field, the co-captains, Yusef Washington, Andre Powell, Doug Sig, along with Nelson Walker, the co-captains for Pennsylvania. And for Maryland, on the opposite side of the field, we have co-captain John Rem and also Calvin Tiggle. Officials uh, from the Harrisburg area and throughout the state of Pennsylvania, some from Maryland on this state. The main referee in this game will be Richard Zarnecki from the greater Harrisburg area. Officials explaining some of the rule changes. There will be some rules in this game that are a little different from the average game. First of all, the defense will not be allowed to blitz. The middle guard, and there will have to be five men on the defensive line, he will have to play the middle guard on the offensive center. There will have to be man-to-man -man coverage in the defensive secondary, which may work to get the advantage of the Maryland offensive team. And we'll talk a little bit about that big wide receiver, Robert Jackson, of the uh, Maryland team. In addition to that, each player will have to play at least 15 downs during the game. The offensive team will have to throw at least 20 passes. If a team is behind by nine points and they score a touchdown, and they are still behind by nine after they score a touchdown, then they will have the option of receiving. I think, believe Maryland may have won it or kicking off, and of course they would receive. Maryland has won the toss. They have declined. They will turn the option over to Pennsylvania, who probably, of course, will elect to receive. So Maryland will have the option in the second period. Now, they will be kicking off from the 35-yard line. They'll be playing basically Federation rules. There is also a tie-breaking situation that will be set up in the event that this game should end up in a tie. And we'll go into that towards the end of the game, but it looks like it might be a tie. Okay, remember now, Maryland won the toss. They elected to kick off rather than to receive, leaving that option, excuse me, giving that option to Pennsylvania. They will have the option to start the second half. So Pennsylvania will go on the offense very quickly, and it'll be interesting to see exactly who head coach Jim Wildman of the Pennsylvania team will put into that lineup. Okay, Maryland will be kicking off. Mike Beasley and Gary Brown will be the deep men. They're standing just inside the five for the Cold Crackers of Pennsylvania. Getting ready to kick off for Maryland is number one, Kevin Lyles. Now, let's get that. That is number 17, Tim Walker. Walker with a big foot. Be able to put the ball real deep if he gets a good foot behind it. He'll be playing, incidentally, with Robert Butts at Central State next year. Robert Butts will be a tight end, probably starting on the offensive unit for Pennsylvania. Nice crowd on hand here at uh, Hershey Stadium. Referee getting ready to put the arm down, but we'll be underway. And apparently, uh, there must be, oh, we're waiting, I think, for the television cameras to get rolling. There we are. Pennsylvania and Maryland, big 33 from Hershey, Pennsylvania. Rich Zarnicki puts the whistle in and we're about ready to get underway. It's a very, very low kick and it's gonna be taken by Beasley. Beasley at the 15, to the 20, to the 25, sets the tackle to the outside, to the 30, to the 35 yard line, 36 yard line. Pennsylvania will take over first and 10 from their own 36 yard line. Good field position for the Cold Crackers. We'll check the offensive unit. Ricky Waters is going to be in there at one running back position. Quarterback should be 
Doug Sig, but we'll wait and see till they break out. Waters will be at tailback. Christie, the fullback, and the quarterback is Doug Sig. Wide receiver to the left for Pennsylvania. In motion to the far side. Ball to the fullback, straight ahead. Christie gets about four yards out to about the 40-yard line. In there on that tackle for Maryland coming up is Warren West. Check that, that was Kevin Lyles for Maryland. Pennsylvania comes out quickly out of the huddle. They've got a second and a long six to go for first down. In motion to the far side is Drayton. Back to pass, quarterback Sig rolling out to the right. He's going to keep it, and he's not going to go anywhere. He's going to go out of bounds. When he gets to about the 39, he may lose a half yard on that play. It'll be a passing down coming up for Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania using two wide outs, one man going in motion, another man split out to the right, and they went to the short side of the field. Loss of just about a half yard. We will call it a third and a short seven. Two wide receivers to the near side. Drayton and Smith. Now Drayton goes in motion to the center of the field. Sig is back to pass. He's got time. He goes and it's complete into Maryland territory and about the 47 yard line. Ball complete to the split end on that side. Smith. Terry Smith comes up with a good reception. So Maryland, Pennsylvania advances into Maryland territory where they have a first down, first first down of the game. They're just outside the 47. Warren West is split out along with Drayton. Quick to route Waters. Waters to the center of the field. He's down to the 30. He's down to the 20. He's down to the 15. He's down to the 10-yard line. Ricky Waters in the first running way, and we may have a face mask penalty coming up. Ricky Waters, with a burst to speed, was able to get down to about the 10. Great block thrown by the left side of that Pennsylvania line on a trap block. Pennsylvania looking to score. They have scored first in every game they have played against Maryland. First year, they won 17 to 14. Last year, 21 to 7. We had a flag thrown. I believe it will be half the distance to the goal line. There you see him stepping it off. Looked like it might have been a face mask. Let's see what Rich Zarnecki says. It is going to be a face mask violation, so the Cold Crackers take over first and ten at the five-yard line of Maryland. Maryland defense digging in. Let's see now if they go to Waters straight ahead or if they're just going to try to go with the big fullback straight ahead. In motion is Drayton to the left side. It's to Waters. Waters fumbles the ball, and I believe Maryland got it at the four. Ricky Waters never did have control of the of the ball. I believe Maryland took it. No, wait a minute. Pennsylvania saying they got it. Uh, I did not see who recovered it for Pennsylvania, but what a break the cold crackers get. Waters never really had possession of that ball. Maryland lost a golden opportunity. It's only a loss of a yard, not the loss of the ball. So let's see what Pennsylvania does. Waters is still in there. Jeff Christie is the fullback. Weston Drayton is split out to the left side. Sig gives to Waters. He goes straight forward, gets hit head on at the seven. A great tackle head on by Mike Ritter of Maryland. It'll be a third down play coming up. It's the same play they ran previously where Waters fumbled the ball. Rick Waters heading for Notre Dame University. Hit by Mike Ritter, who'll be going out west to Arizona State. Once again, they come out with that same lineup. Two wide receivers to the left. See if Sig elects to go to the air. Single coverage on receivers. Remember that. Now, Pennsylvania's going to call a timeout. It's a scoreless game, Pennsylvania and Maryland. 9.05 remaining here in the first period. Pennsylvania with a third and goal. They have lost two yards in the two previous plays. Waters is still in there at tailback, but Sig is back to pass. He's looking, looking, under pressure, throws for the end zone, and it almost, is it intercepted? No, they will rule incomplete. So Pennsylvania will probably have to go for the field goal and credit 
the rush by that Maryland line. I know one of the men in there was Mike Ritter. And they forced Sig to let that pass go, I think a little before he wanted to. The man was clear, but really Sig had no opportunity to look far downfield. Now, that ball will be kicked for a field goal now from about the, they're going to hold it at the 19-yard line. Kicking for Pennsylvania will be Joe Ruth. Down, up in the air, there's a flag down, and the kick is blocked. The ball is loose. Maryland picks it up at the five and knocks out of bounds at the seven, but let's see what the flag is. If it's against Maryland, that will give them another shot. They are motioning the line markers to say, let's see what it's going to be. He went back eight yards on that kick, which surprised me just a little bit. Remember, the ball was at the seven. The flag is still down, and I don't know who it's against. Motion penalty against Pennsylvania will be declined, and then we will have Maryland taken over. We will check the Maryland starting offensive backfield as they come out. So Maryland does a great job of stopping Pennsylvania inside the 10-yard line. Maryland comes out. The quarterback is Nichols, Eric Nichols. He's back to pass. Goes to Robert Jackson. Jackson has single coverage out of 10. He beats the coverage. He's at the 20. Finally is driven out of bounds when he gets to the 27-yard line. Boy, a great play coming up to force him out of bounds by Pennsylvania. Otherwise, he was going all the way. Robert Jackson and Nichols, they teamed up on a total of 53 completions, Eric Nichols and Robert Jackson. Now Jackson goes out into a slot. Now he goes out as a wide receiver to the right. Split backfield for Maryland. It's given to one of the running backs straight forward. For Maryland, that was Cosmo Curry. Jeff Allen checked that. Allen gets maybe about half a yard, no more than that. Once again, two wide receivers to the right for Maryland. Trey Hutton, Sutton is out there along with Jackson. Now Sutton comes in motion to the near side. Back to pass is Nichols, looking for Jackson. He's going to go over center, but he's going to be hit before he can get it off. He was looking for Jackson over center, who had single coverage on Lewis Riddick, but the Maryland team was unable to get the pass off as coming in one of the men in to make that stop for Pennsylvania was Mark Spindler. Jackson had just gone down about 15 feet and cut to the center of the field, and he had single coverage. It would have been a good bang-bang play. Third down play coming up for Maryland. They've got third and about 17. Double split backfield. Back to pass is Nichols. Goes deep. He has Jackson out there. Jackson's got it at the 45. He's down to Pennsylvania territory at the 43, 40, 37 yard line. Once again, single coverage. A nice catch by Robert Jackson. Robert Jackson, who's going to make the Maryland Terrapin fans very happy this year as a wide receiver. So Maryland gets their first first down of the game, and they are in Pennsylvania territory at the 37-yard line. Nichols with two out of three, excuse me, two straight completions. There's no question he's looking for Jackson when he drops back. He did not look for anybody at all, anybody else. Same formation again. This time they put a wide receiver split out to the near side along with two to the right. Back to pass. Nichols under pressure, rolling out right. Going to go deep. Overthrows everybody as he expected the man to go deep. For Maryland, that was Trey Sutton. Sutton came back when he was in trouble, and the ball was thrown deep. A couple of players mixing it up down there, but very quickly the officials come in to step it over, break anything up that might happen early in the game. Second and 10 for Maryland, ball just outside the 37-yard line. Maryland now putting on their drive, their threatening drive, as they try to go deep. Split backfield again, Bird is in there. 
No tailback. They're running a double wing. Back to pass. Looking for Jackson. He goes short to Jackson, who takes it about five yards downfield. Steps out of bounds at about the 31. Three straight completions all to Robert Jackson. Remember, the single coverage, man-to-man -man coverage, certainly works to the advantage of a good pass receiver, and that's exactly what Maryland is doing. You cannot fault the defensive man for Pennsylvania. In this case, that is Lewis Riddick because Jackson is considered one of the best wide receivers in high school in the country. Third and about four. Big third down play for Maryland. Back to pass, looking for Jackson again. Riddick taken by Jackson, and he just gets the first down and goes out of bounds as Yusef Wash uh, Washington was backed off about three yards on him. So Maryland just going for the down and out pattern. Maryland in their white jerseys with red numerals, Pennsylvania in their traditional blue with white numerals. Terrapins have now another wide receiver in there. Brian Al Allred comes out of the wide receiver to the near side. Slip backfield again. See if they go to the run back to pass. Is Nichols again. He throws out of the backfield. I believe uh, coming back to get it was Brian Allred, but I believe that pass may, be, may have been intended for Jeff Allen. Second and 10. Ball just inside the 25-yard line. Certainly within field goal range of these kickers for Maryland. Sun just getting ready to set behind us here at Hershey Stadium. Big 33 football game. It's a scoreless game. Pennsylvania and Maryland. Two wide receivers to the left. One of the right as Nichols is back to pass. Under pressure and going to be driven down on a great defensive play. Coming in that stop for Pennsylvania is Eric Seaman, I believe. Eric Seaman with a great defensive play. Rode the blocker very well to get inside to make that play. About a nine-yard loss, and now we come with third and long for Maryland. Two wide receivers to the near side. It's Curry along with, that's Jeff Allen, along with Allred. On a delay, going nowhere, and we got a flag thrown. Let's see what it's going to be. Bill Henry on that. Let's see what it's going to be. It looks like it's going to go against Maryland, but I doubt if Pennsylvania will take it unless it's a big one, a holding or a clip. It'll be a fourth down play coming up if it's a short penalty and Pennsylvania does not take it. It is a holding. Now, let's see what they do. That's a 10-yard penalty and a face mark. It's going to negate. Oh, that's the tough play for Pennsylvania, but that face mask works to the advantage of Maryland. They'll get that down to play over again, so that loss does not hurt them at all. Third and about 19 with the clock running, 6-13 remaining of this scoreless game, Pennsylvania and Maryland. Split backfield again, wide receiver to the near side. Back to pass, looking for the wide receiver. Going over center, going deep, has a man out there, touchdown! Brian Allred scores a touchdown, 34-yard touchdown pass, 30, just about a 33-yard touchdown pass. Split the defenders, went into the end zone for a touchdown. So for the first time, Maryland scores the initial touchdown in a big 33 football game. Beautiful pass thrown up, and all Reds split the defenders perfectly. Trying for the extra point. A high snap. It's down. It's in the air. It's good. 7-0 Maryland. We'll take a timeout. Getting ready, Maryland, for the kickoff. They have just taken the lead in this game, 7-0. Remember, I mentioned earlier, Pennsylvania has scored first in each of these games. Great play on the pot of Allred and a great throw by the quarterback, 
Eric Nichols, who put it right between the two, two defenders, right where Allred was. He caught it on about the three-yard line, and then, of course, his momentum, even had he been hit, would have put, taken him into the end zone. Pennsylvania with Gary Brown and Mike Beasley deep, standing down around the five-yard line. Last time, remember, the kick by Walker was not a real high kick. It was a low kick. Pennsylvania trading for the first time in the series. This is a very high kick. Gary Brown takes it on the one-yard line. 5, 10, up the center of the field, 15, cuts to the far side of the field, gets out to the 25 and snowed under it about the 22-yard line. He put a good move to get about 20 yards on that play. Pennsylvania will take over first and 10. Remember, that drive for Maryland took all the way of 80 yards. It started inside the 10 yards. It started at the 20-yard line on the missed field goal. We'll check the quarterbacks as they come out for Pennsylvania. We were told we were going to get a change of quarterbacks. Sig is still in there, however, at quarterback. Motion to the near side. Ball is given to the tailback. It's Gary Brown, and check that. That's still Rick Waters. Waters gets maybe about two yards on the play. Gary Brown still just... Staying out of the play, not going in there. Sig's the quarterback coming in there now at one of the split end positions. Will be Warren West. We're going to get a timeout called with the score. Maryland 7, Pennsylvania nothing. Pennsylvania comes out. A little confusion, but breaking out to the near side is Terry Smith. Waters is the tailback. Christie the fullback. Quarterback, of course, is Zig. Sig, uh, we may get, we have a flag. Let's see if somebody moved. Normally when you get a penalty like that, it's usually an offensive lineman who moved before the ball was snapped after he took his three-point stance. Let's see if that's an illegal procedure going against Pennsylvania. It's almost surely it'll be against Pennsylvania. It is gonna be against Pennsylvania. It'll cost them five. Normally I say what happens is the lineman sets, and then of course the line judge on the near side of the field picked up the fact that he did move. So Pennsylvania will be faced with a second and a uh, long 15 to go as the ball is going to be put back just at about the 21-yard line. I should say a short 15 to go. Time in with 4.44 remaining. Motion to the far side. Is Drayton back to pass his SIG. He's got some time. Goes, it's complete to Terry Smith. Terry Smith gets out to about the 37-yard line. The defender on that play fell, Trevor Smith, and we've got a flag thrown, and usually in a place like that, it will be a face mask. But Trevor Smith could not take the fake and fell down and allowed the receiver, Terry Smith, to get open. Let's see what it's going to be. It looks to be against Maryland, and it looked like it may be a big one. Boy, it is going to be a big one. That might be a personal foul. It'll take the ball into Maryland territory at about the 47. It's going to be another face mask. Remember, most of these kids have not played football since last November, so long time between playing. Same lineup, two wide receivers to the near side. Drayton goes now in motion to the far side of the field. It's the Waters. He has an initial opening, but it closes quickly. He still gets about five yards. He's down inside the 35 to about the 37-yard line. You saw something in that previous play when Waters, in that previous series of down when Waters broke free. I have not seen Rick Waters get caught from behind in his four years of playing at McDevitt. Yet you saw Maryland catch him from behind. Terry Smith goes out as a wide receiver to the left. Slot back on the right is Drayton. Single backfield is Christie. Single man behind him. On a counter play, they give the Waters. Waters has an opening inside the 40. Down to about the 37. He may have a first down. I believe he might have made it by the length of the football. We'll see where the official spots the ball. We're going to call for a measurement. With the score, Maryland 7, Pennsylvania nothing. Okay, Pennsylvania did get the first down, so it'll be a first and 10 for Pennsylvania. Ball is resting just inside the 37-yard line. Wide receiver is Warren West. He goes out to the left. 
Once again, another wide receiver is Rich Drayton. Back to pass is Sig. He's looking to go deep. He goes deep. Has West out there. West has got it for a touchdown. What a great pitch by Warren West. And what a pass put up there on a great play by Doug Sig. Oh, what a pass. We've had two sensational plays. Pennsylvania now will attempt to tie the game with 3.13 remaining. Remember, they had an attempted field goal blocked. Pennsylvania will come over and line up. Snap is down. It's in the air. We had a... Flag thrown as the kick was no good, I believe. See what it's going to be. Off sides against Maryland will be half the distance to the goal line. Joe Ruth this time will be kicking about a yard and a half in, closer. But watch out, boy, Maryland has done an excellent job of rushing that kicker. And now Pennsylvania's going to call a timeout. It's 7-6 in favor of Maryland. Okay, Pennsylvania with an opportunity to tie this game. They're going to go for two. That penalty has put them inside to about the one-and-a-half yard line. See if they go to Waters on the right side. Waters gets it, fumbles the ball, and it goes into the end zone. Ricky Waters could not hold the pitch back. So the score remains Maryland 7, Pennsylvania 6. Pennsylvania will be kicking off deep men for Maryland. Jeff Allen to the top part of the screen. Jim Signora to the low part. It's going to go to Signora real short. Takes it on the 15 to the 20, 25 to the 30, and he goes nowhere as he gets to the 30. And then to make the initial stop for Pennsylvania was Rusty Fitchner. Fitchner from Meadville. 6'1", 205 pound, who was heading from Arrow for Michigan. Let's see if we've had a change in the quarterback situation. We do have Tom Green in there at quarterback. More of a running quarterback than the passing quarterback that we saw earlier with Eric Nichols. Motion to the near side is Jackson. Green is gonna take it himself and gets maybe about two yards. So Signora, excuse me, that was Green who took it out, but Signora, I believe, is going to be in there at a wide receiver. Let's see if he stays in there. No, he comes out of there. In there now at a wide receiver is John Snyder to the near side, and Jackson goes out to the right. Split backfield behind the quarterback, Tom Green. We're going to get movement as the quarterback signal just couldn't get everything squared away. George Bury came out to the near side. So Pennsylvania drew them offside. I mean, excuse me, Maryland drew Pennsylvania offside. So Pennsylvania is going to have, going to give Maryland a third and short, third and about four. Two minutes and ten seconds remaining to be played here in the first period. Maryland leading seven to six. To my knowledge, the first time Maryland has led in a Big 33 game. A couple of great passes and a couple of great catches have produced two touchdowns. Check that. That was second down and about four. Now a fumble by Green as he drops back the pass. Left-handed pass is outside, and it's almost intercepted on a great man-to-man -man coverage by Steve Ons as he was step-by-step -step for the receiver for Maryland. It was George Bird. Boy, that was as good a coverage as you will ever see in a football game. Green did a good job. He stumbled on the way back, but did not have his knee touch the ground, was able to get up and get back and throw that left-handed pass. It'll be third and about four. See if the Maryland squad likes to continue in the air. 
Brian Allen comes out as a wide receiver near side. Robert Jackson, wide receiver right. I, power eye formation set up by Maryland. See if they go to the tailback on a power drive. They do a pitch back to the left side. That's Allen. Allen's got first down yardage. He's into the Maryland secondary. He is going to go all the way. There are no flags up. And going for a touchdown is Jeff Allen. That will be a 64-yard run. Jeff Allen with a 64-yard run. So Maryland showing some speed on the outside. Once Allen turned that corner, really it was no race whatsoever. He just put out a burst of speed and was gone. A minute and 42 remaining here in the first period. Maryland will try to get that extra point. Kick is in the air, it's blocked. Maryland leads Pennsylvania 13 to 6. Maryland now will be kicking off Rick Waters as now the deep man, which probably means we will see Gary Brown as a tailback in this offensive there. Waters is gonna take it on about his eight yard line. To the 15, to the 20, to the 25, to the 30, and he's taken down from behind at about the 30 yard line with Pennsylvania. They're gonna call a fumble by Waters. That's his third fumble of the game. And Maryland gets possession at the 30-yard line. Boy, what a tough break for Ricky Waters. So Maryland gets a break and a chance to score again. Now that defensive unit's going to be hard pressed. Let's see who comes in there at quarterback for Maryland. Back in there is Eric Nichols. Watch Jackson on a deep pattern. He's split out to the near side. They'll go for the touchdown first play. They are looking for Jackson on a wide out, and the pass is short. Boy, and talk about giving him room. Dropping back in the man-to-man -man coverage is Lewis Riddick. He was 10 yards deep. If they go on that short pattern to Jackson, they are going to complete almost every single pass they throw. Second and 10, Maryland looking to add to that lead. They lead by the score of 13 to seven, a minute 14 remaining, first period. Maryland comes out now. Fullback is Riddick behind the quarterback in motion. Nichols on the option play gets hit at the line of scrimmage and the initial man in on that play, I believe, was Robert Butts of Pennsylvania. And Butts hit him as soon as he tried to take the option. It'll be a third and long, and you know what they're gonna do on this play. There's no question in anybody's mind, it'll be Robert Jackson. This time Jack goes out as a split receiver to the right. Receiver to the near side is all red. Jackson's gonna go deep on a post pattern, but they go to the up man underneath him, and the pass is complete to Trey Sutton, and Sutton may be just short of a first down. Gonna be about a yard short. It will be a third, and we'll call it about a yard and a half to go. Not quite two full yards. Fourth down, excuse me, fourth and about a yard and a half. Big fourth down play for Maryland. They'll obviously go for it. Question is, do you try to run? They have run only two plays so far, actual running plays where the quarterback didn't keep it. Split backfield. Jeff Allen's at one wing. Back to pass on a wide out, and it's complete to Jackson, and it's a first down inside the 20. No, they're gonna call it incomplete, apparently, and Pennsylvania will take over. So Jackson may have had it long enough, but he could not hang on to it. So the Pennsylvania will come out again in there at quarterback for Pennsylvania is Paul Romanchuk, third quarterback Pennsylvania's U, second one, excuse me. Romanchuk gives to Gary Brown. Gary Brown circles left side, needs one more block, doesn't get it, it's driven down at the 40-yard line. Gain of about seven yards for Gary Brown, who's in on his first offensive play. In case you've just joined us, we are with 10 seconds remaining, coming down to the end of the first period with the score. 
Maryland leading Pennsylvania 13 to 6. For a second and short as we start the second period here at Hershey Stadium. Big 33, Maryland and Pennsylvania. We're going to get offside against Maryland. That'll give Pennsylvania a first down. But Pennsylvania gets a first down without having to run a play here in the second period. Very long first period of action. Lots of passes, lots of out of bounds. Pixarnecki rocks the ball off out to the 34-yard line where it will be a first and 10 for Pennsylvania. Maryland leading in the game by the score of 13 to 6. This videotape being brought to you exclusively on United Sports Film and Video Laboratory. Pennsylvania comes out now. Quarterback Paul Romanchek. Romanchek is back to pass. Looking, looking, goes over center. And it's in and out of the hands and intercepted. In and out of hands of the receiver and intercepted by Maryland. A great play by Trevor Smith as Rich Drayton could not hang on to the ball. So, wait a minute, we got a flag down apparently. Let's see what it's gonna be. I did not see the flag go down. I still do not see a flag down, but uh, obviously something has gone wrong as the officials are, apparently it's gonna go against Pennsylvania. Let's see what they're gonna say about it. They may have had personal foul against Maryland. And that's going to give Pennsylvania a first down. Boy, that is a big one. Maryland would have had the ball outside their own 45-yard line. But instead, Pennsylvania is going to have a first and 10. Now, remember, that is going to be marked off from where the penalty took place. So it's going to take it down inside the 40, down to about the 37-yard line. So that is a big, big break for the Cold Crackers. Now check that, they will call that personal foul apparently after the interception, so Maryland does retain possession. So Maryland takes possession of the ball after the interception. Quarterback for Maryland, Tom Green again. Green, we're gonna get a flag thrown. Green back to pass, lots of penalties. And the pass is just thrown away, but we had two flags coming down, one by the referee and one by the line judge. Maybe an illegal procedure, I believe, against Maryland. It is going to be a illegal procedure. that illegal procedure penalty because the pass was incomplete and it will be a second and about uh, 25 to go. Maryland now with one long backfield and we're going to get two men going offside for Pennsylvania. A stutter count by Tom Green forced Pennsylvania's outside lineman to go off so they'll pick up five yards on that play. In case you're confused, on that interception, the personal foul was assessed after the interception and after the play was whistled dead, which of course made it take place from where the play was whistled dead. So instead of having a first and 10 at the, about the 47, the ball was pushed back inside the 40 at about the 37 yard line. 11 37 remaining here in the second quarter. 13 to six in favor of Maryland. Straight ahead on a delay is the tailback still going up to about the 49-yard line. George Bird gets almost about eight yards on that play. Let's see where they're going to spot it. They'll spot it just inside the 49-yard line in Maryland. It'll be a third and about 13. Green with what should be a passing down. Brings the Maryland squad out. Robert Jackson's in there as a wide receiver. He goes out to the left.
All right, formation behind the quarterback, Green. They give it to the tailback, and he tries to get yardage straight forward, but goes nowhere. Player in on that stop for Pennsylvania. Sean Love, 241-pound tackle from Marion Catholic. So we will have the first punt of the game. Waters is back deep for Pennsylvania, along with Terry Smith. Rick Waters has had, unfortunately, three fumbles in this game. Kick is off. It's a nice, nice high kick. Fair catch. No, they're going to let the ball bounce, and it... Oh, takes a Maryland bounce. It'll be down on about the two-yard line. Oh, what a break the Maryland squad got. A great, great punt. So Pennsylvania will take over first and 10 at the two. Time out before that play gets them. Pennsylvania has a first and 10 just inside their two. Powering forward, trying to get outside for Pennsylvania is Gary Brown, but he's not going to be able to go anywhere. That Maryland defense just digging in real tight. A couple of bodies banging against each other. And the officials coming in very closely to get everybody apart. Maryland leads by the score of 13 to 6. Really, they've dominated a good portion of this game. <laughs> Pennsylvania <laughs> with a second and a long 10 to go for first down. Gary Brown trying to get outside, fumbles the ball, and it's a touchdown for Maryland. Taking it out of the hands of uh, Gary Brown was Andre Jones, and Jones scores a touchdown. Maryland will try to add the 20th point. They lead 19 to 6. This is the first game that they have scored more than 14 points. Kick is down, it's in the air, and it's good. 20 to 14 in favor of Maryland. Beasley and Gary Brown are the deep men for Pennsylvania as Maryland has stunned this Pennsylvania squad leading 20 to 6. It's obviously this Maryland club has come to play. I think if I see Rick Waters down on the sideline with his jersey off and a towel on his right shoulder. Let's certainly hope that is not anything serious. Nice high, high kick. Beasley takes it on the five. 10, 15, 20, tries to go outside. Needs a block but can't get it. Gets tipped up at the 18 yard line. A nice play by Maryland's Santos Stevens. Pennsylvania on offense again. Remember they just gave up the ball a short while ago. Gary Brown is gonna be in there at the tailback. Fullback will be Jeff Christie. They give on a delay to Brown. He's got some running room. Needs a block. Slips one tackle. Out to the 30. Gets out to the 34. And unfortunately could not get the block he needed from Terry Smith. But he does get enough for the first down. Quarterback Paul Romanchek brings him out. Cosmo Curry now is in there at the fullback position. Brown the tailback. They give it to Curry. He goes off the right side. Gets maybe about three yards out to about the 37, 38 yard line. Pennsylvania so far has been a rather conservative in their offense. Trying to use the speed of Gary Brown and Rick Waters, but it just has not worked to their advantage. Now, Rick Waters is moving his arm on the sideline, so it does not appear that he's injured at all. Pennsylvania comes out. They're faced with a second and about seven. Back to pass. Quarterback Romanchek. Oh, goes in the coverage and overthrows the receiver. He has to be all right, but he's certainly doing everything he can to favor that right shoulder. Pennsylvania comes out again. 
Back to pass as Romanchek goes over center, has a man clear, and it's dropped. Oh, a tough catch and a tough play as Eric Seaman had a possible six points on it written all over it. There's nobody that feels more worse about that than Eric Seaman. 7.56 to go, 26 Maryland, and Pennsylvania will punt for the first time in the game. Warren West, who caught the pass for the only Pennsylvania touchdown, will be punting from inside his own 25. Bad snap, gets the kickoff, and we have a flag thrown. Are they going to rule that his knee hit the ground? They are. They're going to rule that Warren West knee hit the ground before he made the kick. So that'll give Maryland another break and a uh, excellent opportunity to pad that lead. They lead by the score of 20 to seven. Maryland comes out with an excellent opportunity to see if they go deep on the play. Smith is gonna go on a post pattern, back to pass as Nichols under pressure, throws for the end zone, and the pass is overthrown. We had double coverage that time on Robert Jackson, but Nichols had to let the, go ball, let the ball go a lot faster than he had to. Maryland comes out, faced with a second and 10. The ball just inside the 24-yard line of Pennsylvania. Nichols is the quarterback. He's going to go back there. He's looking for Jackson on a wide out. Jackson's got it at the 20, gets hit, and goes out of bounds at about the, well, let's see where they'll put his forward progress, right at the 20-yard line. Coming up quickly to make that stop was Lewis Riddick. It'll be a third and six. For the Maryland squad, as they are attempting to pad that 14 point lead, Jackson is split out to the near side. Split backfield behind the quarterback as Nichols is looking for him. He's gonna go up and out and Jackson's got it for a touchdown. 24 yard pass to Robert Jackson and Maryland now starting to pull away. What a great pass by Nichols. There was no question about that. Maryland will now try the extra point. It's down, it's in the air, it's up. It, no good, 7-17 remaining here in the first half, 26-6 Maryland. Maryland will kick off. Ricky Waters was not injured, we made that mistake. You know, he is back, he's gonna take the ball on the 10. He'll come straight up to the center of the field, cut to the far side, cannot get outside, however, and he's gonna be stopped at about the 27 yard line, where it'll be first and 10 Pennsylvania. Very, very quiet crowd down in front of us here on the Pennsylvania side as Maryland has come on very, very strong, scoring 26 points, equaling their entire total during the first two years of this game. Back to pass as Romanchek goes into coverage and it's complete out of about the 41 yard line. A nice catch by Terry Smith. Smith gets it at the 42 and it goes out of bounds. Pennsylvania now with the first and 10, the ball outside the 40 at about the 42 yard line. Romanchuk has Gary Brown in there at the tailback position. Motion to the near side is Drayton. He goes over center and it's intercepted by Maryland. A great interception dropping back into the scene for Maryland was number 66, Calvin Tiggle. 
So Maryland comes up with a big interception, second one of the game. Six thirty-eight to go. And there a quarterback now is Tom Green for Maryland. Two wide receivers to the left. Single coverage is on Jackson. Green is back to pass. And Green goes deep and the pass is off the hands of the receivers, almost intercepted. Trey Sutton had a hand on it, it went off his hands and very close to the interception for Pennsylvania was Matt Badgett. Maryland comes out again. This time they have a wide receiver, Jackson to the right, wide receiver left. Jackson now goes in motion back towards the ball, far side. Jones fumbles a stack from center, but I believe he may have fallen on it. Pennsylvania players think they may have had it, but we don't see any elation. And the official is still giving it to Maryland. It'll be a third down play coming up. He lost about a half yard on that play. Third down and 10. While you're enjoying the action on the field, we hope you're enjoying the efforts of the cheerleaders on the sideline. 5.38 remaining to be played here in the first half of this football game. Jackson now goes out of the ball game. He is not in there as a wide receiver. And we had Pennsylvania, I think, going offside. Let's see what it's going to be. That's going to be a penalty against Pennsylvania, so it'll be third and a about six to go. Now they've got a third and about six to go. They are just inside their own 49-yard line. Tom Green fumbles a snap from center. I believe the ball is still loose. Did he get on it? If he did, it will be a fourth down coming up for Maryland. It'll be a fourth and about 10. So Maryland will be taking their second punt of the game. Rick Waters will be going deep along with Terry Smith. Pennsylvania has really been hamstrung as Maryland has done everything right here in the football game so far. Good high kick. Terry Smith takes it, slips as he makes his cut back. It's out to about the 16 yard line. Pennsylvania faced with a first and 10. The ball just inside the 18 yard line. Gary Brown almost fumbled the pitch back. It gets out to about the 20. Boy, Pennsylvania just having trouble hanging on to the ball. Gary Brown bumbled that one. The last play he fumbled on went for a touchdown. Rick Waters, the other tailback, has fumbled three times. 4.14 remaining here in the first half, and it's 26 to six in favor of Maryland. Ramonchak, the quarterback, power eye behind him. The quarter, the tailback is Brown. Back to pass Ramonchak. Looking to go deep. He does go deep. And it's complete at the 50 to the 45 to the 40 to the 38 yard line. A great catch by Pennsylvania, Pat Renard. Check that. That was Warren West who made that catch. Warren West, who has made two great catches, one for a touchdown, and that play to give Pennsylvania some new life. Warren West, a 5'9", 160-pound player from Liberty High School, undecided as to what college he's going to go to. There's a coach looking on in this film. He's going to be happy to see him. Ramon checks back to pass. Under pressure. Does he get it off? He goes deep. He's got a man out there. Oh, 
dropped in the end zone. Here's a touchdown. They scored a touchdown. A great catch by Terry Smith. Terry Smith on a great catch was able to maintain control before he went out of bounds. Pennsylvania can get the ball back. Okay, Pennsylvania will be able to try the extra point. Kick is down, it's in the air, it's up. It's good. Now, Pennsylvania, I believe, has the option. They can get the ball back if they want to. And they will elect to take the ball back. I believe they will. Let's see, I believe that's exactly what's going to happen. The officials are going over to explain it to the captains. There's a timeout on the field. 26-13 in favor of Maryland. Maryland will be kicking off. Mike Beasley and Gary Brown are the deep men. It's a floating kick that Beasley takes on the 10. Comes back to the 15, to the 20. Try to pick his way. Goes on the outside. Jackling around, oh, and he's gonna lose yardage back inside the 15. Will they rule a fumble? He put the ball on the ground, but they're gonna rule he was down before he put the ball on the ground. Beasley made a move that actually lost him about eight yards on that play. Team will try to close that gap with 3.47 remaining in the first half. By our count, Pennsylvania has only one timeout remaining. Romanchuk is back in there at quarterback. He's back to pass. He's looking, looking, looking. Still looking. Going to go on a slot pattern, and it is complete to Gary Brown, but drop. Coming in there to make a great hit on the play for Maryland was number 12, Trevor Smith, who timed this hit just right. Boy, Gary, Gary Brown was really at the mercy of the tackler on that play. Hermanchik has the play brought into him by Warren West, who has made two sensational catches Or Pennsylvania tonight. One set up a touchdown, the other one scored a touchdown. Vermont check on a delay to Brown. Brown, however, gets stacked up when he gets to the line of scrimmage. running with three minutes and 18 seconds remaining to be played here in the first half. 26-13, Maryland on top. Terry Smith comes out of the wide receiver to the near side. Joining him is Rich Drayton. Vermontek back to pass under some pressure and almost has the pass intercepted as he tried to get the ball away as he was going down and it went into the hands of Kevin Rowley. Kevin Rowley, excuse me. So the Pennsylvania squad will kick it away, and Maryland now comes with their chance with less than three minutes to go to add to that lead. Warren West. It's a nice high spiraling kick taken by Maryland. Hit and knocked down on a great play. Coming in the defense was Cosmo Curry as he did not allow George Bird to go anywhere. It'll be first down, 10 yards to go for Maryland. So Maryland now first and 10, 242 remaining to be played.
Maryland comes on again. Eric Nichols is the quarterback, and you know what he does when he's in there. He just looks for Robert Jackson. Let's see what happens. He's looking for Jackson again, looking for Jackson on a fly pattern, but he gets hit before he can get it off. I believe that is Robert Butts. Check that. That was Todd Pipkin who came in to make that stop. Jackson went on a wide out pattern and then he just went flying down the sidelines. That extra pump did not allow the quarterback to get the pass away. Minute 52 to go with the clock running. Jackson out near side. He's got single coverage on him, which is very, very tough. Lewick Riddick is the coverage on him. They go over center to Jackson. He's got it, gets hit. He's gonna be about, oh, about 12 yards short of the first down at about the 42 yard line. There's no question, Nichols and Jackson know exactly where each other's gonna be. Minute 18, minute 16 with the clock running down. Maryland with two timeouts remaining. We'll have less than a minute remaining here in this football game, in the first half of this football game when Maryland takes the ball back. Now they come out. Robert Jackson, wide receiver to the near side. Back to pass, Nichols, he throws a low pass and it's incomplete, intended for Santos Stevens. So Maryland will kick it away and Pennsylvania will get the ball back. When they, when they get this ball and get the next play underway, they'll probably be somewhere down around 38 seconds. Ward is, is deep standing in his own 15 along with Terry Smith. Nichols gets a high snap, has to reach up and get it, and he gets the kickoff, and we're going to have a roughing the kicker. They did not get a hand on the ball, and three Pennsylvania men get in there. It'll be roughing the, roughing the kicker. With 38 seconds remaining, Maryland will get enough for the first down. Tough play for Pennsylvania, but a good play for Maryland as they get time to be able to get an additional score with the ball near midfield. Actually, it'll be closer to the 45. Good Sarnecki getting ready to mark it off, and I think it'll be down probably just inside the 45. Let's see where they mark it. That's right, it's gonna be at the 44, so Maryland with a big break. Pennsylvania will be hard pressed now to try to stop this Maryland squad to adding additional points. It's 26-13 in favor of Maryland, as Maryland has indeed dominated most of the first half offensively and defensively. Clock is running. 36 seconds to go. Maryland ball, first down on the 44, following the execution of that penalty of Robert no. Bigger. Back to pass. Quarterback Maryland gonna go deep, not gonna be able to get it off. Spittler in on the first tackle, and with only 16 seconds to go, Maryland may have to quickly call a timeout if they're gonna get another play underway. And I guess Maryland is going to be very content to take that big lead and let the clock run down as the first half is going to come to an end with the score. Maryland 26, Pennsylvania. Pencil. Yeah. Okay, Pennsylvania, as you know, took the toss after they Maryland neglected and passed on the decision as Maryland, it looks good for them. They have taken the toss here in the second half after they declined it in the first half, and they will receive the ball, leading by the score of 26 to 13. Now, you've been in that Okay, Pennsylvania will be getting ready to kick off to Maryland. 
As we mentioned, it's a 26 to 13 game. This Maryland squad has really put on a display of offensive power. It really has not been just one quarterback. It's been a number of quarterbacks. Tom Green has thrown uh, for some excellent plays in there. And I listen to Eric Eric Nichols, who really has been on the ball to Jackson. And of course, he and Jackson played through their high school career, and Jackson caught 53 of Nichols' passes last year. Kicking off for Pennsylvania. Jim Signar and Jeff Allen of the Deep Men. Very, very low kick. Allen takes it on about the 16. Straight up the center of the field. Oh, and he gets tripped up as he gets to about the 32 on a shoestring tackle, a great shoestring tackle by Pennsylvania. So Maryland will take over first and 10, the ball resting just outside the 35 at about the 36. We'll check the quarterback situation as they come out. Quarterback in there is Tom Green. Setbacks behind him, Jeff Allen is one of them. Motion to the far side is Jackson. Quick pitch back to the near side and going nowhere being hit for loss is George Bird as coming up to make that stop for Pennsylvania is Eric Seaman. And also Robert Butts. Clock coming down to 11 minutes. Maryland has not run too many plays tonight. They have been perfectly content to put the ball in the air. And you've got a receiver like Jackson and a couple of quarterbacks like Green. And I am not singling out Jackson and Trevor Smith has come up with a couple of catches. Two wide receivers to the left. Back to pass is Green under pressure. Rolling out right goes underneath. Almost intercepted in and out of the hands of the defender on the far side for Pennsylvania. That was Mike Beasley. It'll be a third and about 12. Jim Signor has come in. He'll be in at one of the wide receiver positions for this Maryland squad. Clock has stopped with 10.44 to go. A long time, no, the official is talking to the Maryland team. Now, the official, Ritzar and Ecke motions on the time in and they break out. Our eye formation. George Bird in the tailback position. Motion near side is Jackson. Oh, we got flags thrown and coming to the outside is Bird and he gets to about the 40 yard line, but let's see what the flags are. We'll check and see what the flags are gonna be and Goes against Maryland, so with no gain, Pennsylvania will decline the penalty, and Maryland will be forced to kick. Fourth down. The line marker still has third down, but it is a fourth down play coming up. Now they move the line markers to a fourth and about 12. Ricky Waters is deep for Pennsylvania along with Terry Smith. Good snap, very, no rush at all. Terry Smith is gonna take it on the 15. Tries to go to the outside and slips and gets knocked down inside the 15 at about the 14. Uh, straight ahead. Romanchuk hands the ball off to Ricky. Check that. Ball was handed off to 
Jeff Christie, he picks up about five yards. Christie and Waters are the running backs behind the quarterback, Paul Romanchuk. We have not seen Doug Sig in the game at quarterback since that first series. Straight ahead on a straight power play is Christie. He's out close to first down yardage. Some bodies being thrown around down there. Temp is flaring ever so slightly. We'll see where the ball is going to be spotted down. And uh, depending on the spot, it's going to be close. Now, there's a flag down there. Let's see what it is. Somebody threw a flag down. That flag is a personal foul against Maryland. Pennsylvania did not have the first down, so they are going to mark it off 15 yards out past the 35. Let's see where they'll eventually mark it down. 37 yard line, closer to the outside the 38, really. So Pennsylvania trailing 26-13 will have a first and 10 at their own 38. Actually, they now spotted at the 39 yard line. Nine twenty-one to go, third quarter, 26-13 in favor of Maryland. Straight ahead on a straight power play. Maryland, uh, excuse me, Pennsylvania just powering away. Jeff Christie goes straight forward. Jeff Christie now has taken it on every offensive series here, every offensive play here in the period. There's an injury on the field with a score of 26-13 in favor of Maryland. And he just walked off under his, with a couple of players. Really appears to be his right ankle that may be hurt. Pennsylvania again with that power eye. This time they give it to Ricky Waters, who powers straight forward, gets past the 45, about the 47. Pennsylvania is getting at least three or four yards on those power plays. The problem you get with a play like that, if one should lose yardage, then you have difficulty trying to pick it up with the next play. You really have got the gain on every power play when you're running straight, running into the center of the line. 8.27 to go. Pennsylvania so far here in the third quarter, concentrating on a straight running attack. Play is brought in for the sideline, Paul Romanchuk. Terry Smith brings it in and goes out as a wide receiver to the near side, and Rich Drayton is a wide receiver to the right. Still with that power eye. Christie, the fullback, Watt is the tailback. Back to pass, Romanchuk under pressure, has some running room, but the running room closes quickly. He may have gained a yard on the play, but that's all. It'll be a fourth down play coming up. That defensive line of Maryland doing an excellent job against that offensive line of Pennsylvania. Right now, they're getting off the ball much quicker. Be a fourth down play coming up for the Cold Crackers, and they'll kick it away. Seven thirty-two to go with the clock running. One deep man for Maryland right now. That's George Bird, two man coming back. Coming back to join Bird is John Snyder. Spiraling kick. Snyder is going to come up. He's going to take it on a 20. Circles back, trying to get some running room. Not going to get away. He's going to be hit back on about the 13-yard line. Coming in on pursuit on that play for Pennsylvania, Rusty Fitchner. Seven minutes and five seconds remaining third period. Still a 26 to 13 lead for Maryland. Nice crowd, 17,000 fans here at Hershey Stadium. Reed, excuse me, Nichols back to pass, throws it outside and the ball is dropped. And I think the fans ought to cheer on that. That is the first time Robert Jackson has not been able to pull one in. He dropped one when he was on the sidelines before in the first period, but he was hit this time. He just couldn't hang on to the ball very high. Maryland comes out again. Nichols, and we're going to get a timeout call. Let's see what it's going to be. Is there an equipment problem? Fisher wants a timeout. Second and 10. Nichols sends a man in motion, top of the screen. That's Bird, but he gives to the second man through straight ahead, powering through for first down yardage out to the 25-yard line. 
William Henry gets first down yardage for Maryland on a trap play. Very quiet Pennsylvania crowd right down here in front of us. Jackson comes out near side. Nichols will be looking for him on this play. Single coverage on him as it has been with Lewis Riddick all night. Jeff Allen goes in motion. They go to Jackson. Jackson slips one tackle but can't get away from the other. He slipped Riddick, but Riddick did his job in preventing him from breaking loose. Well, you cannot fault Lewis Riddick. He has had a tough job tonight facing one of the top receivers in high school football last year. It'll be second and about six to go for first down. Two receivers split out to the right for Maryland. Nichols gets to the tailback, going straight ahead. That's George Bird, and Bird maybe gets a yard, half yard, that's all. It'll be a third and long. Maryland forced into a third and about six to go. They called no, no gain on that play, so it'll be a obvious passing down. Now, I, Liddick is going to have his hands full again. Lewis Riddick is sole coverage on Jackson. Jackson's going to go down and out. And, oh, Eric Nichols is not going to be able to get it off as coming in to make the tackle for Pennsylvania is Mike Rusty Fitchner, I believe. That was Rusty Fitchner who's come through with some key defensive plays. Good play because that forces Pennsylvania, Maryland, to a kicking situation, and Pennsylvania will get it back. That's Eric Nichols back in front formation uh, in the kicking situation. It is Nichols. Nice high spiraling kick. Ricky Waters takes it on the 31. Straight up the center of the field and goes nowhere. Coming in to make the stop very quickly for Maryland is George Bird. But Pennsylvania starts off in good field position at their own 40. Pennsylvania with a first and 10 at their own 40, 4.17 to go. We got a timeout with the score, 26-13 in favor of Maryland. Pennsylvania comes out now, they trail 26-13. Maryland defense digging in. Romanchek is still in there at quarterback. Ricky Waters powers off the right side, gets five yards out to the 45. Remember those two missed extra points by Maryland. That gives Pennsylvania the option. If they can complete, score two touchdowns and go for the extra point, they could lead by one. Now keep in mind, if Pennsylvania scores, they will be less than nine points behind, so they will not get an option to get the ball kicked back to them. Romanchek still has Ricky Waters at the tailback. They give it to Waters. He's trying to go out to the outside. He does turn the corner, gets to the 50 in the Maryland territory at the 47. It'll be a first and 10 for Pennsylvania. Watt is putting on a good burst of speed to get around the corner. Pennsylvania has not thrown a pass here in the second quarter, uh, second half. Three twenty-four to go, clock has stopped with that out of bounds play. Third quarter, 26-13, Maryland on top. Romanchak gives to the first man through the fullback. That is Jeff Christie, and Christie gets about five yards on the play. You almost have to think that Pennsylvania may be setting up for the long pass. On the sideline for Pennsylvania now, Doug Sig is starting to limber up a little bit, so he may be coming back in. Romanchek is still a quarterback. He gives to Christie, who powers forward, only gets about a yard or two. It'll be a third and about five to go. On the 
It'll be two minutes and 30 seconds to go. Romanchek is back to pass, looking, looking, has some time, and I, he's going to be driven down, but we may get a holding penalty on Maryland. Romanchek had a man deep, but he could not even see him. He didn't have time at all. I don't think Maryland will take this penalty. I'd be very much surprised if they will. Unless we had a double penalty. Let's see what it is. Holding against Pennsylvania. And of course, that'll be a big one. Maryland will take that one. It'll be pushed back into Pennsylvania territory, down at about the 45. Check that, they're gonna decline the penalty and force the fourth down. It'll be a fourth and about four, and Pennsylvania will kick it away. Getting ready to kick is West. Good snap. Kick is off. It's a nice high spiraling kick. Oh, the ball goes into the end zone. It did not go. It looked like it might be going for the coffin corner. So Maryland will take over. First and 10 at their own 20, leading 26-13. Minute 57 to go, third period. Green is still a quarterback. They try a running play straight forward, and both clubs being very, very conservative here in the second half. Jeff Allen tried to go straight forward on that play, could not get in. Maryland content to sit on that 26-13 lead, apparently. Tom Green, the quarterback, heading for Arizona State. Green is rolling out right on the option, slips as he tries to cut back in. A little bit of help to bring him down by Eric Seaman. So it will be a second and a uh, third and about 10 for Maryland. as we have less than a minute remaining to be played here in the third quarter of action. We have the injury to that player coming off for, they're bringing a stretcher on. Apparently they're not gonna take him to the hospital and x-ray that left ankle on the player that went off early for Maryland, uh, for Pennsylvania. And we have flags thrown Let's see what it's going to be. Offside Pennsylvania, it'll be a third, a third and five for Maryland. That round of applause you hear in the background is for the injured player who is leaving the field right now. I don't remember who that was that came off. I just can't remember. The play clock is running with less than 30 seconds to go. If this is a running play, it could be the final play here of the third quarter. Back to pass is Green, throws a wide out, and it's intercepted by Pennsylvania. Down the near sideline, going in for a touchdown. A great one-handed interception. See if we can pick it up. Who it is over there? That is number five, Lewis Riddick, who's had a tough night tonight, and he comes through with a key interception and returning it 28 yards for a touchdown. Boy, I'm sure Lewis Riddick was glad to hear that. We have an injury to a Maryland player. Pennsylvania will try for the extra point. Maryland uh, on defense as Pennsylvania tries to close that gap to six. Joe Ruth will try the extra point. 
Snap is down. It's in the air. It's up. It is good. The score, 26-20 in favor of Maryland. We'll be right back. Kicking off to Maryland. Jeff Allen is one of the deep men. Jim Signora, the other man. It's a high kick, but we had a flag thrown right as the kick took off. See what it's going to be. It may be offsides. Uh, Pennsylvania, I don't know if it is. That'll kick. Yes, it is. That's going to kick it back to the 30. Give Maryland a much better chance for a run back. Apparently, one of the men was over the sidelines. Is that what it is? Flag was thrown by the head linesman. So that's going to cost Pennsylvania five, give Maryland a little better chance to run this back. Pennsylvania will kick off, as I mentioned, Signora, one of the deep men along with Jeff Allen. There's the kick, it's gonna go to Signora, he's gonna take it on the 20, to the 25, to the 30, hit at the 30, slips the tackle, gets out to about the 33 yard line. That will be the final play of the third quarter with the score, Maryland 26, Pennsylvania 20. 26 to 20 takes the ball on offense. Quarterback for Maryland will be number nine, Eric Nichols. Nichols making for Jackson, looking to go deep for Jackson, rolling out to the right, and he's going to throw it deep, and it is on out of the hands of Jackson, but we're going to get a flag thrown in the backfield. Let's see what it's going to be. Looks like it's going to be. I don't know if they're going to rule that Nichols was over the line or not. I don't know where he was when he threw it. It's going to be against Maryland, so that will cost them 10 yards. Let's see what they elect to do. They Apparently, they're going to go with the... Uh, it'll be a penalty marching it back inside the 35 to about the, excuse me, inside the 25 to about the 23 yard line, where it will be a first and 20. An incompletion stops the clock, 11.52 to go in the football game. Maryland comes out, Nichols has Jackson out to the far side. He's looking for Jackson on a deep pad, and he's going to go deep. Overthrows Jackson. Jackson cut to the inside of the field, and I believe Nichols thought he was going to the outside. Boy, and Nichols took a wrap after that play. Eleven forty-seven to go with the clock stop. Maryland come out, 11.37 to go. They have a second and 20. Wide receiver the near side is Brian Allred, who already has one touchdown tonight. Back to pass, Nichols throws out of the backfield. It's complete, but the player goes down as soon as he catches it. And we're gonna get a probably a personal foul against Pennsylvania, which is gonna be very, very costly, I believe. It's going to be a tough play because it would have been a third and about 25. Instead, it will be a third and about 10. That's a tough play because Pennsylvania would have had an excellent chance of stopping Maryland deep in their own area. Now they give Maryland at least a little breathing room. They will have a third down. I believe it took play after the play was whistled dead. So it will be a third down play coming up, but they'll have third and just about 10 to go instead of having a third and 25. So 
it'll be a third and about 12, they'll call it. Pennsylvania defense digging in. Nichols is looking for the big man. He's under pressure, not gonna get it off. Good defensive pressure by that Pennsylvania line. So Pennsylvania will get the ball back again with 11-18 on the clock. It's a rejuvenated Pennsylvania squad, but Marion Maryland still in the command, leading 26 to 20. Rick Waters is deep for Pennsylvania. High snap, but the kick is off. Very, very poor kick, goes high in the air, goes out of bounds at about the 39-yard line of Pennsylvania, where they'll take over first and 10, trailing 26 to 20. of audio quality, we apologize. It will be a first down coming up for Pennsylvania. receiver to the left and right as Sig gives to the fullback powering straight forward that's Christie Christie gets into the 45 Pennsylvania now going to just plain hard hard nose football <laughs> Pennsylvania doing everything possible to be able to just control the clock score a touchdown take the tie and go for the lead Ball back to Gary. Straight ahead on a straight power play. Brown gets inside the 45 to about the 44. It'll be a third down play coming up, third and about four. Clock running with nine minutes and 10 seconds remaining. Sid comes out. Sid gives the ball back to Brown. Brown pawing right side, slips one, slips another. He does not, however, have first down yardage. He's gonna be about a yard short. Big decision for the Pennsylvania squad. They're gonna mark his forward progress. Let's see. At the 48, he's gonna be about two yards short. And Pennsylvania's gonna kick it away. Crowd motioning him for them to go, to, for them to go for it. But Belwin wants to take a chance that they'll get it back. Eight twenty remaining in the football game. Bad snap. Kick is off. Nice high spiraling kick. Ball is going to bounce. Take a Maryland bounce from the 14 back out to about the 18-yard line, where Maryland will take over first and 10. Clock will try to run some time. Time and the favor of Maryland right now. Now they've got third. That clock was whistled in. They've got just 25 seconds to get this play underway. Double wing, this bay back in the tailback. Straight forward on a power play is Jeff Allen. Fumble, and let's see if they'll whistle it dead or will it be Pennsylvania's ball? They're gonna whistle, no, the ball was dead before he fumbled it, so it'll be a second down gain of about five. Oh, 
7.20 on the clock. Wide receiver near side is John Snyder, Jackson's wide receiver to the right. In that power right situation again. Allen is the tailback. He goes in motion to the near side. Nichols gets it to the second man throw, and he gets a couple of yards outside. That is William Henry, I believe. So Henry gets him some breathing room. It's going to be third and about two. Big third down play for Maryland. They get this first down. They've got an opportunity of running another minute or two off that clock. Two wide receivers, one left, one right for Maryland. Ball to the tailback, powering forward, and I think he may have the first down yardage. The official spots are where he's standing right now, right or left foot, he's got it. They're gonna call for a measurement, 26-20 in favor of Maryland. Maryland did not make the first down and they're gonna kick it away. Low snap, kick is away. Very, very high kick. Pennsylvania will let it bounce and it goes out of bounds at the 29 yard line. So with 5.48 to go, the score is 26-20 in favor of Maryland. Pennsylvania with 5.48 to go. May have their last possession right now. Sid gives the ball to Gary Brown and Brown gets about two yards on the play. That's all he's gonna get. Brown is in there at tailback in place of Rick Waters. Clock is running five and a half minutes to go in the game. Pennsylvania is gonna have to put the ball in the air. Wide receiver to the far side. Is Warren West, back to pass, Sig, out of the backfield, gets it out to Brown. Brown is not gonna be able to get much yardage, out to about the 35, gonna be about four yards short. Clock running, less than five minutes remaining in the football game. Maryland pretty much dominated the first half. Pennsylvania has had a slight edge here in the second half, but Maryland has maintained that lead. Neither club has really generated much offense in the second half. The only touchdown, an interception by Pennsylvania's Lewis Riddick. Sig back to pass, under pressure, gets the ball off, but it's low. It'll be a fourth and four coming up, and Pennsylvania has to kick it away. Now remember now, Maryland gets it back. Pennsylvania has all their timeouts remaining. So it will be Pennsylvania kicking the ball away. They've got to pray for a turnover, really. High, high spiraling kick. Maryland takes it and is hit immediately. Gary Brown gets down there and hits George Bird immediately. Excuse me, that was Beasley. Maryland now with a first and 10, 4.13 to go with the clock running. Each team has both their all three of their timeouts remaining. Quarterback, Nichols, throws the ball back to the trailer on the play. That was Jeff Allen. Allen, Allen gets about four yards, but more important for Maryland, that clock is under four minutes right now. Each play becomes so very important for Pennsylvania, so very important for Maryland. Maryland wants to gain four yards, run the full 25, 30 seconds on each play. Pennsylvania wants to stop them and get the ball back. Nichols, the quarterback, gives it on a delay, straight ahead to the tailback. Pennsylvania stops him. But by the time this next play gets underway, we'll be down to about two minutes and 50 seconds. 
Snyder gained about a yard on the play. Less than three minutes remaining here in the football game. Big, big play for Maryland. Big defensive play for Pennsylvania. Third and about seven. Nichols back to pass, throws it over. It is, is it complete or incomplete? The official nearest the ball rules an incomplete play. A great defensive play really by Gary Brown. Otherwise, that would have been a first down yardage. So Pennsylvania will get the ball back with about two and a half minutes remaining. That was Mike Beasley on that defensive play. Check that. High snap, but with no rush, the kick is away. Pennsylvania's Rick Waters takes it on the 40, up the near sideline, up to the 50, turns the corner into Maryland territory, driven out of bounds inside the 45-yard line. 2.27 to go. Twenty-six, twenty. Pennsylvania with their one last grass. Clock will not start until the snap of the ball. Rick Waters threw his helmet up in the air and it went out on the field. I think he would have liked to be in that offensive series. But that would have been a very dangerous play that might have cost them 15 yards in an unsportsmanlike conduct. Back to pass is Sig. Gonna go deep, he goes deep, has a man out there, caught at the five yard line. A great catch by number 11, Terry Smith. And the crowd lets you know that we're on the Pennsylvania side. Oh, that was good coverage by Maryland, but a great catch by Terry Smith as Sig put it right in the breadbasket. Clock rolling down, two minutes and nine seconds to go. Straight ahead, down inside the one. I believe that was Gary Brown. Brown gets it where they're gonna mark his forward progress. They're gonna put it close to the two yard line. Earl and the ball is on the two second and goal. We'll be right back. All right, the Pennsylvania fans trying to root on their cold crackers. Gary Brown does not get any stop at the one yard line. Minute 36 on the clock. Play is brought in from the sideline. Pennsylvania wants a timeout. They finally do get it with a minute 16 to go. It's 26 20 in favor of Maryland. All right, it's a minute 16 to go. Maryland coach out there taking his full timeout. The Pennsylvania coach is left. Ball, as you can see, is just outside the one. Minute 16 on the clock. There you see the ball. 26 20, Maryland on top. The cold crackers come out. Jim Sig, the quarterback, gives to Gary Brown. Did he make it in? No, he didn't make it. He stopped inside the one. A minute nine on the clock. The ball is down inside the one. Boy, 
Finally, it's gonna come down to the final minute. 55 seconds on the clock. And Maryland defense has done a tremendous job so far. Jim Sig, the quarterback, gives it to Curry. He doesn't make it. Maryland has stopped them with 36 seconds on the clock. They tried to cross it up and go with the up man, the fullback, and Maryland's defense was equal to the task. So Maryland will go home with a victory barring a major turnaround. There was a flag thrown, but I think it was thrown after the play. Personal foul, Maryland, but I believe it was after the play. If it is after the play, then Maryland still will get the ball inside the one. Maryland is going to call a timeout with 35 seconds to go, leading by the score of 26 to 20, I believe. Let's see what it's going to be. Personal foul, Maryland. I believe that'll be after the play. It's Maryland's ball, first and 10. But with only 35 seconds on the clock, it would appear that Maryland will come up with their first victory. And you got to give them credit. They stopped Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania had a first and goal at the five. There's a timeout with 12, 35 seconds to go, 26-20 in favor of Maryland. Maryland with only 35 seconds to go needs only to maintain possession, although Pennsylvania does have three timeouts remaining. They will call it immediately, I believe. Now we get a timeout call that used six seconds on the clock. Umpire is down there calling a safety. Now, I saw him go up with his hands in the air. If that is true, Pennsylvania will get the ball back by a free kick. One of the officials motioned safety, and now that's what they're arguing about, and it appears that Pennsylvania is going to get it, and they'll get the ball back. So Pennsylvania will get two points, and it will be necessary for Maryland to give the free kick, and Pennsylvania will get the ball back. Timeout is called by Pennsylvania with a score 26-22 in favor of Maryland. Here's the situation. There's 29 ticks of the clock remaining. Maryland has just taken the safety. It's 26-22 in favor of Maryland. Pennsylvania, however, will get the ball back from the free kick. Beasley is going to be a deep man along with Rick Waters. Waters, who, while he was in a career at Bishop McDevitt High School, made a practice of running punts back for touchdowns, and he would love very dearly to have a similar run back right now. High spiraling kick. Waters. Takes it on the 25, straight up the center of the field, cuts back to the far side of the field, still going, trying to get outside, inside the 50, down to about the 47-yard line. It'll be a first and 10 for Pennsylvania, 19 seconds to go. Now remember, the clock will start as soon as they set up, unless Pennsylvania calls a timeout, which they do their final timeout. 19 seconds to go, 26-22 Maryland, Pennsylvania, first and 10 at their own 47. Pennsylvania now probably has to get the ball out of bounds. If they do, they may not get, they stay in bounds. They may not get another play underway. Jim Sig back to pass, rolling out right, throws it out. It is complete. They will not get another play underway with only 12 seconds to go. Pennsylvania's going to have to line up quickly, and I don't think they'll get another play underway. And the cloud is motioning, it's the officials motioning a timeout because Maryland did not get on bounds. With four seconds to go, Maryland stayed in, and the, the back judge came in and motioned timeout. Now, Pennsylvania's got to be in a set position because they have only four seconds to get the play underway. Now, once again, Maryland's got to get five men up on that defensive line.
what are they going to call? A, uh, it's going to be a delay game against uh, Maryland, I believe. Rich Sarnecki is going over to talk to the headlinesman to exactly find out what it is. Wait a minute, that may be an unsportsmanlike conduct. That's what they're going to call it. Now remember, Pennsylvania's got to line up. I illegal man on the field, apparently. Pennsylvania's only got four seconds to get this play underway. Oh, Maryland calls a timeout. And it's 26-22, Maryland, we'll be right back. Maryland may have given Pennsylvania a new life by calling that timeout. Maryland's got a, Pennsylvania has a chance for one more play. Sig is just going to put it up in the end zone. And it is almost, but incomplete. Out of the hands of Gary Brown. So Maryland will win this football game by the score of 26-22. Sig put it high in the air, but... Unable to get the ball on the rebound was Gary Brown. He's a very disappointed young man. But Maryland comes in with their first victory of the year of, these, of this series. Wins the third game after losing two in a row. They come up with a victory 26 to 22.